Hi, it's Doodle Mad Dad. I thought I'd teach you how to doodle crazy robots today. Uh, so we were making a cardboard robot, myself and my daughter Amber, the other day, and it just inspired me to do some robot doodles. I decided to use things from around the house that could maybe come to life. So in this, you're going to see my camera and tripod, amongst other things, coming to life as robots. I thought that was a really good start, an easy start for all you young doodlers out there in your own homes to think of things to doodle so I'm just starting with the middle section with the crazy robots logo I've done some some kind of bubble writing and some angular writing just to mix it up a bit on like a 3d background there we go I'm gonna color that in some quite vibrant colors later on and so I'm going to start with pretending my Canon camera has come to life. I don't use my Canon as often as I should do, really. I'm using my Samsung Galaxy to film most of these videos at the moment. So it's just a lot easier to edit and stuff with my uh, my editing app, Power Director. Absolutely brilliant app. Anyone out there wanting to buy an app to edit videos? This is one brilliant app. Let's me do all these funky things with my videos. So there he's going to have three legs. That's the tripod acting as like a tripod robot. And he's taking a picture of all you uh, Doodle Mad Dad fans. Just give him a bit of shine on his feet and his legs there. And he's saying... In a little speech bubble there, give it a bit of 3D element. A little shadowing at the back. Say cheese. And his little flash is going off, some little three flash marks above his head. He's got one big eye, using the lens as one big eye on his on his body. And this one is using my wife's hair dryer, which I always tell her off for leaving plugged in. I'm always uh, turning it on by mistake when I stand on it. And it's blowing this robot's hair all over the place. It's got two different sized eyes to show it's a bit of a crazy robot with a wiggly mouth and it's hair drying itself there isn't it and you can get creative with these robots you can give them all different types of arms legs tentacles crane arms tractor sort of traction legs pincer hands like this one or one little wheel so it can balance about and skid about all over the place And this one is the iron. It's got the two buttons at the top, which are going to be its eyes. I was going to do the vent holes in the bottom as a little face, really, with two eyes and a little smile made out of dots. But I changed my mind for some reason at the end. And it's got a bit of a tail with a plug on the end. A three pin plug, which is what we have over here in uh, England. And the steam shooting out there. This iron looks like it's going to fly across the page, anyone else that's in the way. And I thought of other things to draw, not just other machines in the house, but also our dog. So, I have a robot dog to represent our absolutely crazy mutt of a dog called Chicken. Crazy dog with a crazy name. This one's not so happy with the iron robot for some reason. And it's got... A spring tail and it's gonna have some stripes and some little wheel feet instead of feet to get it about like I say you can give these robots anything you want to have feet casters wheels it's going grrr is that one this one is our washing machine which is never off at the moment it seems and it's spitting out, you'll find out in a bit. It's got its eyes in like a uh, sort of position. It's not happy with itself at all. And it's going bleh, and it's spitting out something. And there we go, it's one of my smelly work socks from wearing my, uh, my big black boots all day at work. Not surprised it's spitting that out to be honest. Just give it some eyebrows there, some expression. 
and as I did the facial expressions video, you can find all different ways to make your robots and faces and characters stand out. Now this is one of my old iPods. I've got a really old iPod. It's like a house brick. Weighs a ton, doesn't work anymore, which is uh, a bit upsetting because it's got a ton of music on and it's listening to its own music there with its headphones on. So do some musical notes as well. Some little lines to show the music coming out. And the screen is like his mouth with a little sound wave going across the screen. This one's going to be like a basketball player robot. I think what inspired me to do this one was my wife um, got the girls a basketball the other day and it's needs a bit of air in it and it's just sat by the front door at the moment. I thought, yeah, do a basketball robot. Little NBA robot flying through the air with his uh, jetpack, his legs dangling, his little trainers. That would be quite cool. You can give them all different team colours if you want. Do a rugby player robot, football player. I thought of a tennis player robot, to be honest, with a tennis racket for one arm and a tennis ball gun for another arm. You could play as against another tennis robot, couldn't it? This is our bin. Just going to turn our bin into a bit of a robot, a little garbage eating robot. And he's got a little dial on his tummy that turns from full to empty. And he's going to have two long wiggly arms, a bit like Mr. Tickle from Mr. Men. And there we are, just shooting forward. You can see my bin robot had a really long arm going all the way around the painting, trying to get a can. There's a 1980s cassette tape up there. There's some other bits, little lightning bolts and bits to make your drawing come to life. And we're going to flip to the coloured version. There you go. So thank you for watching, Doodle Mad Dad. Appreciate you watching. See you later.